I kind of messed up gear. I clicked on it. <laughs> oh, you. Um, if you use your scrolly thing. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I should be doing the scrolling thing or not, but. Okay. Well, if Let you over clicked it, yeah. then yeah. Unless you want me to just read it out. No, I got it. A mixture of guilt and pride led me to spend the rest of day of the day at Golden Zone Fire. Between ladder games and a break for dinner, I scoped out the cafe's best StarCraft players. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like any of Golden Zone Fire's regular patrons are most are much to write home about. They were good players for their all-out attack, sure, but today most of the cafe's patrons were playing Brood War. And of the ones that were actually laddering in StarCraft 2, there was only a single guy in Master League. I'll have to extend my search outside of a single PC bang. I guess it'd have to be a little too convenient to find a VSL caliber player so easily. I get the urge to stop at a convenience store on the way back to my apartment. There's one I've been going to regularly for my nightly fix of sugar and caffeine. The store's blindingly bright signage is visible from more than a block away. Green capital letters spell out the store's name in English on a backdrop of white. Go Mart. Oh, Guys, old man. The door's familiar chime welcomes me, and the same clerk I've seen at least a dozen times before stands formally behind a cash register. He looks a bit old to be working still. Maybe he owns the place and doesn't have help. To work with the night shift. I see myself standing behind the counter in an unwanted mental image. It's a fate that I could easily await that could easily await me if I failed to make it as a professional gamer. I shake my head free of the thought and make my way to the refrigerated section of the store to fill my fist with cans of and bottles. I need to get a drink. <laughs> Some of the drinks may have strange names, but I'll be damned if they aren't good. Well, I know I the names of these <laughs> drinks. I drop them on the counter in front of the old man and briefly make eye contact with him. He seems to recognize me, but doesn't say anything to indicate it. He rings my drinks slowly, not from age or calluses, but because he's in no great rush. The store is empty aside from a... <laughs> The store is empty aside from me, after all. I wonder if I should try doing this voice. 60,001. Or you can, okay. I swipe my credit card in the reader and depart with a polite smile, anxious to return to my apartment. The clerk returns the expression and watches me go without another word. Well, that was an unusual cutscene thing. Yeah, makes me wonder if he'll be more important later on, because there's no reason to give someone a drawing unless they're going to still be in the game. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god, is he going to be the coach? I don't know, actually. That god. might be a good idea. Oh my god. Or the sponsor. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that's a neat idea. We'll have to figure that out, though. Yes. It's just more of us doing stuff, then. The only top tier player I'm speaking I'm on speaking terms with is Acel, but how would I even approach the subject of getting him to leave his team for a new and untested one? Maybe it would be better for me to simply get a lead from him. If I can't manage that, then I'm left to scour local PC bangs and message boards on my own. Whatever, I'll figure this out tomorrow. Okay, so okay. I guess you're doing this yeah. voice. And you had to convince her? Seriously, she's been taking, talking shit. She's been talking this up to me for the past two months. I just remembered I was trying to give him a nerdy voice last time, wasn't I? I don't know. Uh, okay. It's a big change, I guess. I mean, come on, I just met you guys. How could she not be hesitant? Hmm. A cell grins, no doubt replaying Jet's angst in his mind's eye. Getting on the ground floor is a major plus. You were in the right place at the right time. If it works out, that is. A cell glances over his shoulder before returning its attention to me. 
Most teams barely pay their players anything. I've got a good I've got it good for someone my age, but even I have part of my winnings taken for the team's benefit. Ouch. Luckily for Westerners, that isn't a trend that has caught on outside of South Korea. So I can't do it. It's impossible. The word simply won't come to me. What? Oh. Asel lets out a laugh, genuine and highly amused. He tries to get his words out and, unlike me, eventually ends up succeeding. Sorry, Mock, but no can do. I'm signing with Co Crash until the end of the year. I'm not allowed to play for anyone else until my contract's up. As, expect as I expected. Really, it shouldn't come as a surprise. I sigh, fall back into my chair, and rest my palms atop my head. I had to ask. Jess expected me to pick up players while she handles the management and sponsoring sponsorship side of things. Nash, I don't think anyone else knows about this. Oh, I guess he did. Okay. Hey, well, I can help you with the next best thing. I'd be thankful for any help at all. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I got a short list of easy pickups. An extremely short list. He clears his throat. There's only one person on it, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Who is it? Ooh, straight to business. Eager for your bunk bed, I see. Trust me, Mock, you'll want the bottom bunk. You know from experience? Sure do. When I was 16, some upjumped brood war clan scraped me from the bottom of the barrel and set me up in their overcrowded sweatshop of a team house. I had to sleep over was had to sleep above someone at least two years past a grateful graceful retirement. I've seen solitaire players with a better APM. He snored a lot. How does that make a difference between being on top or bottom? I don't know. Oh, I never at all. As horrible as he's trying to make it seem, a self sounds closer to wistful than bitter as he recounts his first years as a professional gamer. What happened to the team? Sponsor flaked. Team Dean didn't have enough money for legal action. Coach didn't tell us until 20 minutes before rent was due. Someone stole my mouse pad as we were moving out. And that was the end of my StarCraft career. Wait, no. It kept going for seven years after that, and somehow it still isn't over. Always forget that part. A cell. Top Korean Turan. Master Storyteller. Da da da. Anyway, this guy's name is Stunt. Plays Protoss. He's pretty good. What's the, what's the, what is the wet? What is it with everyone and weird names? You got <laughs> Mock. You got a Cell. You got Jet. You got Bolt. You got Stunt. What is it also with all these names referring to something fast? Or quick. <laughs> except for Stunt. Cause you gotta be fast and quick and push hard. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> oh god. But? I said oh god. No, 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 it's what he says afterwards. He says but. Oh, but. They said what? But? Does there have to be a but? Yes, there has to be a but. There's supposed to be a cutie booty. I'm, I'm sensing a but. <laughs> it's a small but. He's incredibly <laughs> cheesy and maybe a touch arrogant. And he's a high schooler. But he's good. Ah. Oh my god, I'm gonna do a squeaker voice. No! Why? I don't know, depending on what he's like, I might want to voice him. This is coming from the person that could- that- This is coming from the person that wanted me to take over a cell. That's because I couldn't remember the voice. If it's a squeaker, I might be able to do something else. Why haven't any other teams picked him up in that case? He shrugs. I get the feeling that a cell genuinely doesn't know, but I'm left anxious nonetheless. Still, it's important to have at least some kind of racial distribution on the team. Not in terms of foreigner or Korean, mind you, but rather of Zurich, Protoss, and Turin. Hmm. Do you know I could get in touch with him? I could give you his info for a friend request. But he'd probably block you on the assumption that you're a fanboy or a gold seller or something. 
You best bet is to your best bet is to find him in person at stomping grounds. His stomping grounds? What do you mean? Where? No, no, stomping grounds. That's the name of the PC bang he was usually at. Ugh. Another trek across Seoul. I've never heard of the place, much less been to it. A cell takes note from of my frown and wags a finger at me. What? You fly halfway across the world and can't be bothered to walk for half an hour? Take the subway if you're that lazy. No, no, it's fine. I shouldn't expect this to be easy. Now we're talking. Get going. I'll keep an eye out for your next player in the meantime. I checked the map on my phone for the second time after reading the sign for a third. This is definitely stopping grounds. A deep, so a deep breath helps calm my nerves. Seconds later, I push open the glass door and make my way inside. The gasp! Pretty much as I expected. Layout. Except there's no pictures of Pudge on the wall. No, they had advertisements instead. Look at, look no, at those. No, that's not advertisements. Headphones. That look at is. Those headphones. That's not advertisements. That is Tron. <laughs> you got art. You have glowing neon orange lights and glowing neon blue lights. What can I say? Oh, my yes, that is true. D you're just gonna have to deal with me and my cheesy humor. Oh boy. <laughs> Pretty much as expected. Computers, vending machines, tables, and the sound of two dozen mice and keyboards. PC bangs are nothing if similar to one another. When a shiver runs down my back, I realize that the AC in here is cranked up ridiculously high. I read somewhere that casinos pump in extra oxygen to keep the patrons awake and alert. Maybe this place has tried the, to adapt the same tactic to their cafe. A middle-aged woman sits behind the desk. She glances up at me when I pass by and then returns her attention to the magazine displayed out in front of her. A quick scan of heads lying in front, up in front of the monitors offers me a few potential stunts amidst the sea of scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Potential stunts. By a cell's description, he's short and has bleached hair. Guess there's not many blonde people in Korea, is there? Unless they're dyeing their hair. Nope. I'm able to narrow it down quickly and confirm his identity with a look at his monitor. He's in the middle of the ladder. And he's playing StarCraft 2 with one hand. The other is occupied with a game on his cell phone. Oh. All at the same time, stunts crushing his opponent with a rush, rush build, and by look on his face, he takes great pleasure in that fact. His enemy sends a salty one-liner before dropping out of the game without a GG. Stunt grins wide and puts his hands behind his head, satisfied. After checking the post-game stats, he glances over his shoulder and then spins his chair around to find me watching him. Hey, so cute! Look at his blue and blonde hair! Oh my god! Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I want to I wanna try a voice. I want to try a voice. Are you going to remember it? I don't know. <laughs> no promises. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let me see here. Sup? So, something you want? Yeah, you're stunt, right? Hmm, that's me. And who are you? You still sound like Jet a little bit. I'm Mock. Does, does it sound like Jet a little bit? A little bit. Uh, um. Whatever you're doing to change it, you might want to like add emphasis with it. Stunt, stunt lights up, uh, stands upright, and plants his hands on his hips all at once. Right! The foreigner that Excel messaged me about was starting to think he wouldn't show up. Let's get this bet match going. Hey everyone! The bet match is on! What? Damn it. Really, Asel? Before I can attempt an explanation, a crowd of six or seven middle-aged kids form behind stunt. I don't see myself talking my way out of this. Bet match, right? That's me, yes. That's what I'm here for. Another Chobo is gonna try to beat bet match stunt? When will they ever learn? He's a cafe's best player. Hey, stunt. Will you buy me a juice with your winnings? Stunt ignores the peanut gallery and takes a step forward, sizing me up. Judging by his appearance, it looks like he's just started high school. 
I'm at least a head taller than him. Essel says you're down here for 15,000 won bet. Oh, come on, you can do better than that, right? How much were you thinking? <laughs> 25,000. It's a much better number, wouldn't you say? Come on, you had to drag your ass all the way over here to play. <laughs> Let's make it interesting. This is going to be interesting. That's what? $20 or so? I'd have to skip a few trips to go, Mart, but I can't risk having him turn on me. Okay, fine. 25000 What are we going to do about maps? Best of three, right? <laughs> nah, best of one is fine. My time's too valuable. And in show of good faith, you can pick the map. I saw I wasn't kidding about this kid's cockiness. Whatever, at least I could choose the map with a long rush distance. I find a seat at a computer nearby, though not so close that we could catch a glimpse at one's another, one another's screen. A locked window stares back at me as I sit down. Of course, I need to pay to use the PC. But before I can head back to the front of the desk, stunt slides in front of me and takes the mouse. Yo, I got it. Consider an investment for the money you're about to give me. He unlocks the machine with a few clicks and the entry of a password. Huh, that works. After I thank him, he slinks back over to his setup, stunt shares a few confident words with the underage crowd behind him, and then throws his headphones on. I host up a game and toss him an invite. It's not long after that, I'm staring down my base and six workers. Cannons. But his hair dye? No, he doesn't. His hair is adorable. Cannons, two gate, four gate, blank, proxy robo, proxy stargate. There are a dozen different ways that stunt could end this game early. As a precaution, I scout around the interior of my base to ensure that I'm not being cannon rushed. And as I discover, I am. Just outside my vision range and dangerously close to my worker line, a cannon finishes building. Some losses in a defense are inevitable. Un uh -huh. inevitable, but if I handle this well, it should put me ahead of stunt. It's gutsy of him to risk a best of one strat on a strategy like this. Practically all I have to do is scout. Ah, uh, shit! I can't talk. It's gutsy of him to risk a bet of one on a strategy like this. Practically, all I have to do is scout it to vic score a victory. By microing my injured SCVs away from cannon shots, I'm able to r end the rush at a low cost. In truth, that's what it seemed. That seemed like an exceptionally weak attack. Was the cell hyping this kid up for nothing? I end up losing only three of my workers by the time a single cannon is dead. Now, where's that probe? There it is. With his probe down, there is no way he'll be able to drop any more, drop down any more cannons. Still, he's probably planning his next move. I have to decide what comes next. If he's transitioning into something standard, this would be the perfect time to counterattack. His tech has to be lacking, so there's no way he'll have a strong enough units to defend a marine attack. And while it seems incredibly unlikely, there's a chance that he might have another attack ready. If I want to err on the side of caution, I should stay in my base and simply tech up, but that might give him enough time to get back into the game. I should make this call based on what I know of his playstyle. Uh... I don't really know because he's trying to base it off of his playstyle, but at the same time, wasn't it Jet that was telling him that he needs to sometimes play a little bit defensive? Yeah, telling him. I made the last choice. That. We'll, we'll let you make this choice. Uh, but yes, it, based on his fighting style, like he seems like he's a huge pusher. So I feel like if we try attacking, then we're just not going to be getting anything productive done, and we'll be fighting too early on in the game. So maybe stay on the defensive. All right. <laughs> Stay on the defensive. But then, it, uh, yeah, okay. Even though I'm giving up the chance to win the game immediately, the safe thing to do is to tech up to drop ships. Yeah, that's kind of a smart thing to do. Because mm -hmm. rushing it in might make things worse. Yep. 
But it looks like I won't need to. My precautionary scout uncovers an ambush waiting in the dark corner of my base. With more than enough units and space to micro my marines, I dispatch the zealots with barely any losses. Good choice, Kira. Nice. A cannon rush faints into a proxy gate? Absolutely ridiculous. With his rush routed, Stunt quits out of the game without a GG. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. I won with surprising ease, too. Um. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Stunt pushes through the dumbfounded crowd and comes stomping over. Fury in his eyes. He really didn't expect to lose. It didn't no. seem like he lose, it just seems like he lost one little thing. Yeah. You blindly- Ah, oh, no, that's the female's voice. <clears throat> you blindly scout the smoke in your base after a cannon rush? Are you kidding me? Who does that? I raise my hands defensively and skirt away from the victory screen splashed across my monitor. Whoa, whoa, calm down. It takes like five seconds. And you have a reputation for those kind of builds, you know? Mm. He makes a disgruntled sound and stares hard at me. You got lucky. Oh, jeez. You got Ooh. lucky, typical train players. And I'm taking back my... Who's that? I don't know. What are you yelling back here for? Didn't I tell you to sweep up the back room an hour ago? Stop screaming at our customers and go do something useful. Lord have mercy. Oh, it might be his mother. Without oh, yeah, warning, okay, it's a woman. <laughs> yeah, without warning, the woman at the front desk paints stunt bright red across the room. She glares at him for a moment longer before ducking behind ba behind ba ba ha ba ha. She glares at him for a moment longer before ducking back behind the counter. Talk about lousy bosses. His anger replaced with modesty, stunt scratches behind his head. The middle schoolers have mostly dispersed, evidently destroyed by their cruel realization that their protos god can bleed. Uh, sorry, that's my mom. Anyways, you beat me. Let me go get your cash. His mom? Eh, even worse. I guess I can see the resemblance minus the bleached hair. Explains how he unlocked my PC, at least. Actually, wait. I didn't come here for a bet match. What? But we just played one. Hmm. I don't have to pay you then? What? No, I'm recruiting for a new team. Asel mentioned that you were a free agent and I wanted to see if you'd join up. I guess he thought it'd be funny to trick me into a bet match with you. Hmm. A foreign team? Why didn't you just send me a message or something? No, a Korean one. And Asel said you'd probably assume I was some fanboy and block me. Although I get the feeling that was just his excuse for this whole setup. Man, Cell, couldn't we have kept this simple? What if I had lost? Stunt pauses, pauses and reaches for his phone. Distracted or no, he manages to carry on the conversation. <laughs> nah, blocking you sounds like something I'd do. Anyways, who else you got? We've got... Wait, Judd is technically still on VIP. Can I tell him that she's planning to leave? What if he tells someone? Why didn't I think of this ahead of time? <laughs> You've got... We have some good players about to sign and a sponsor in the works. Nothing official, we're trying to keep everything under wraps until then. Hmm, sounds sketchy. A mystery sponsor and mystery players? He doesn't seem convinced. I can hardly blame him. This sort of thing is unfortunately common in esports. But, I sell did vouch for you. That's worth something. And you beat me. The future Protoss Bonjois. Once we've got four players and some management, we're going to pick out a team house. You'll need to live and practice with us. I blink once, look away, and take a tactical pause. Oh, uh, if your mom will let you move out, that is. He raises to bait... He rises to my bait and straightens up, both fists clenched. You're damn right she's gonna let me. Hm, alright dude, consider me signed. If I got a room and enough money to pay for food, we're in business. Stunt pauses and lowers himself from the tips of his toes. What's the team called, by the way? 
Like I said, it's a work in progress. I'll let you know when it's picked out. Mm, if we're not named yet, I want to say in it. How about Asler Blaze Phoenix Stapers? What even? Kid, this isn't a shonen an anime. What the fuck am I saying now? <laughs> I tried to say anime and I couldn't even say it properly. Yeah, oh. probably not. While Stunt revels in the afterglow of being signed to a StarCraft team, a thought occurs to me. Wait, don't you go to school? Uh, let's just say I'm between schools right now. I don't bother trying to divulge any information. If he can live in the team house and perform, that's good enough for me. Some promising young pros deferred school for Brood War back in the day, and if StarCraft doesn't work out for him, at least he's got a future cleaning up stomping grounds. Right, the mysteries won't last for long, I promise. I'll be in touch if you need to show up somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna hit you up for practice. I'm going to hit you up for practice games tonight, if that's cool. Be online. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, kid. <laughs> the fiery Protoss player lifts his chin for a final grin before heading into one of PC Bang's back rooms, probably to gather a broom and dustpan. I grace Stunt's mom with an innocent expression on my way out. She answers my smile with a sharp glare sharp enough to make the back of my hairs... She answers my smile with a glare sharp enough to make the hair on the back of my neck stand up. 